Hi, my name is Helen Jenkins. I'm two-time ITU world champion, three-time Olympian and also an MBE. Now I'd like to take you on a little tour of my kit bag, what I'll be taking down for the race so I'm ready for Super League. For every triathlon you're going to need certain things. You're going to need a race suit, you're going to need trainers, you're going to need bike shoes. So let's go through. We've got very specific race suits for Super League. This is the race suit for the Arena Games. Um, then we come to bike shoes. Now one of the differences I'm going to have for Arena Games is I'm going to take a couple of pairs of shoes. We have a really short changeover in between events and we're all doing it in a different order. It's not standard swim bike run. I've got these ones laced up ready with my elastic laces for fast transitions and I have another pair which I'll get ready to. So I've got the option there of using two pairs of shoes just because we're going to be sometimes you're going to have wet feet coming out the swim or off the bike so having dry shoes does help. Now to make things easier and smoother you want to have fast transitions so I'll definitely be using some like talcum powder and some Vaseline inside my shoes just to prevent any rubbing on the inside and so I can get my feet in my shoes really quickly. Normally in a race I'd have my elastic bands normally would use on the on the back of the bike shoe like like this and then your shoe would be fixed onto the bike and it would remain horizontal on the bike but we're probably not going to have time in between the short changes in Super League. Also I just mentioned them elastic laces so I've already laced up these ones but I'm going to take spares. I mean I've had um, times before races where something's gone wrong last minute and laces snapped, goggles broken so it's always handy to kind of take some spares with you. Normally for a triathlon it's an open water swim so you know you, we def the, most of the races I compete at you either dive in off a pontoon or you start in deep water. Now I haven't raced a pool swim off the block since I was a kid and I was doing swimming and it's made me think a lot more about my goggle choice so I've got two sets of goggles ready but I'm not sure what it's going to be like in the building, how light or dark, so it's quite good to have different sort of options for lenses. And when we have a familiarisation, I'll um, give them a go and see which ones I'm kind of happy with. We're going to be provided with swim hats, but I've got swim hats and training goggles for kind of training times, warm-ups, like before the race. You can see my pile's getting quite big, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, Again, like this is maybe more spoke to girls, but I always have some spare hair bubbles. I had hair bubbles snap before, like the start of the race. So little things like that. Okay, so now we have a look what's in the back bit. Now, this is the stuff which is not specific to race, but specific for me warming up and getting ready to race. I do take kind of warm up and getting my body ready. Um, really, it's really important for me. So here is stuff that I'll be using kind of the day before and maybe in the morning of the race. So in here, I've got a, um, a massage gun, which I'll use kind of on my, um, on my calves and um, my glutes, kind of the night before the race, make sure I'm nice and loose. I've got a little travel foam roller, which is really handy, rather than taking the big one down. So I'll just use that for a bit of activation, mobility, the morning of the race. We've got um, some bands to use, mainly for glute activation. Just getting the body ready. We're going, we're going to be going really short, really fast, intense speeds. So you don't want your body to be, you know, feeling half asleep. So getting ready. It's like we're getting ready for, a, you know, a hard session. Uh, so this is a massage ball. I'd use this for getting in the really tight spots, maybe like around the glutes. This little one, it's a little foot roller. I've taken this like all over the world with me. I always have really tight feet and calves. Any sort of plantar fascia issues if you've had them in the past or Achilles, like this little tool helps kind of get that whole chain really nice and loose. Around this side here, we've got all the nutrition. Now it's a really short race. So I'm not gonna need to take on any nutrition in the race but I do want to make sure that I've got enough like food like, the morning off, make sure I'm ready to go. So I've got some, um, some cliff bars here, some like a selection of bars uh, that I can use kind of the morning of the race, just so I've got to be ready. I've got some gels with caffeine in, so these will be perfect for that kind of like half hour before the start to get ready. As an athlete, I don't like coffee, which is quite strange. Most triathletes love coffee and travel with coffee machines, so you won't find any coffee in my kit bag, but I do have caffeine gels. Again, here's some little jelly cubes with um, 
with some caffeine in as well if I need those. I've got a protein bar, that'll be for afterwards. Get that protein in when we finish. Um, hydration, these are really important, all the electrolytes I'll be having. So these will be the morning of the race. You probably won't need to drink much during the race again, such a short distance, but making sure that I'm properly hydrated before the race will help performance. I take some Athletics Green supplements that support immunity, so I'll be having those. I have those every morning, so I'd still do that on race morning. So they'll be in my bag. Yeah, and that's pretty much everything we need in a kit bag. I say I have my lucky key ring on as well. It says, go get him, Tiger, because that's what um, Mark would always say to me like before a race, and now the kids say it to me too. Like When I'm going out training, it's quite funny if I'm just going for a jog and they're shouting that out the window. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, I do like to be organised. I've got everything there I need. Um, if anything goes wrong, I normally have spares. So um, any athletes who are there, I will have a spare hat or anything you need. <laughs> um, that's about it. <laughs>